Okay, hello, uh, welcome back. This is part five of the video series uh, Salvation Through Works is Heresy. Um, another important mistake that uh, some people are making in studying the Bible is that uh, they are uh, they don't see the difference between when the Bible says you must do something and, and uh, the, being told that you should do something. There is a big difference between must and should. Uh, for example, uh, the Bible says there is no other name under heaven whereby we must be saved. Okay, so this is a must. We must be saved through Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, And the Apostle Paul was asked by the jailer, what must I do to be saved. And he said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. So this is a, clearly a must verse. Um, and the uh, Jewish religious leaders asked Jesus, uh, uh, what work does God require us to do? A requirement. That's a must verse. And Jesus said, uh, this is what God requires. You believe on the one he sent. You've got to believe on Jesus Christ. That's a must uh, but the problem is, uh, there are a lot of other verses that are shoulds, and people are uh, changing those and saying this is a must. I'm talking about a, a must for salvation. And when you do that now, you uh, create a works salvation. Yeah. You add uh, to um, the message of grace. Yes. So... Uh, the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, that's a must. Uh, believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, that's a must. Uh, th this is a must. The salvation comes through Jesus Christ, faith in Him. But the other things that the people are preaching about, like uh, stop your sinning, join a religion, uh, get water baptized, on and on. The list is endless of, people, of requirements that people are adding. Now, works. These are various works. Now, the problem is, these are just shoulds. Now, I don't think I, either of us are going to tell people that you should not do those things. I believe you should stop sitting. How about you? Oh, yeah. yeah. I believe a person uh, should get water baptized after they're saved. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that a person um, should do all kinds of righteous deeds. But these things don't save you. Yeah. These are things that we should do but these are not things we must do for salvation. And that is a big, big mistake. They're, these people are changing the shoulds into the musts. And there's only one must. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the must. Amen. Um, now, let's talk about the difference between uh, uh, sanctification and justification. Uh, you, I know you wanted to clarify that. Well, justification is uh, God declaring you not guilty um, of sinning through uh, the blood of Christ, uh, through through uh, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, and and and, and by your faith uh, in 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 that He justifies you. He declares you not guilty uh, of ever sinning. Mm -hmm. uh, he sees you as you've never sinned. He remembers your sins no more. Uh, through your faith in His Son and, and trusting in what His Son did on the cross. Mm -hmm. um, Jesus did His part. He died for you. Now you must believe that it is finished. You must trust in His death on the cross as the full payment for your sin. And now the sanctification um, is, is uh, um, once you've been saved, the Holy Spirit comes into your in, into your life and He starts to make you more like Jesus. He starts to, to change you into the image of Christ. You start to grow. So, uh, if I trust Jesus Christ as my Savior, that makes me justified in the eyes of God. And that's all that's necessary. Okay. So, uh, we should be telling anybody who's preaching anything else, no, you... you to be justified in the eyes of God, and that means your your sins are forgiven and you're saved. In order to to uh, have that status with God, uh, only one thing is required: 
and that is to trust Jesus Christ as our Savior. Believe that He's our Savior, and He paid for our sins, and it's completely settled now. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says we conclude that a man is justified by faith apart from the deeds of the law. Mm -hmm. So it's by faith alone. So, but there are some preachers that are giving people the impression that trusting Jesus is really not enough. That they have got to do these repent of their sins and do these uh, various religious things. And uh, so they're really not telling people that uh, all that's required of them is to trust Jesus for their salvation. Yeah. What I would like to do is I would like to be able to take these preachers back two thousand years ago, and as the Son of God is dying on the cross for their sins. Um, them realizing that God became a man and He just lived a sinless life. And now He's given His life for, for them. He, he's dying for, for their sins. And he's, he's, he's just about ready to die and He says it is finished. I would like them to say, uh, no, I, I don't believe that it's finished. How can you say that it's finished? Well, they're, they're calling Him a liar when, when, when He says... Um, that it's finished. I mean, can you imagine these these people being able to to, uh, to look Jesus in the eyes as He's sacrificing Himself? He just poured out all His blood uh, for for our sins, and 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 He says it's finished. And, and and for someone to come up and say it's not finished, they 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 they, they, they might they, they might as well spit in His face, insulting Him, saying that uh, your suffering died on that cross, but that's not enough. Yeah, it's not enough to save us. Yeah, I mean, would you would you tell God uh, um, you haven't done enough? So we have to make sure that uh, people understand the difference between uh, salvation, justification, salvation is the same thing. Okay, they need to understand the difference between salvation and sanctification. So we trust Jesus Christ as our Savior, and by trusting Him, putting our faith in Him, we we, we receive justification slash salvation. Now. Um, sanctification is a process uh, where, so that once we are saved, between the time we get saved and the time we die, the rest of our life we go through this process of being sanctified, and it's basically spiritual growth and maturity. We get holier and holier as we uh, uh, advance in our maturity spiritually. Um, but it seems like some of these people are telling, are, are uh, placing sanctification as a requirement for salvation. So I think what we want to clarify here is that we trust Jesus as our Savior for justification, salvation. We trust the Holy Spirit for sanctification and the spiritual maturity process. Because once you trusted Jesus and you got saved. The Holy Spirit came to live inside you. You became a child of God. And the Holy Spirit has been working on you and changing you for all these years, since you were 19 years old. Uh, and so, uh, I trust, when I'm telling people how to get saved, I don't worry about the sanctification. Because I want them to trust Jesus for their salvation. And I personally, I trust that the Holy Spirit will do the rest and cause the sanctification and the maturity uh, process to take place in them. Absolutely. All right. So um, we'll. Uh, these are some of the uh, uh, big mistakes that people make, uh, not understanding the differences in uh, must and should, and uh, uh, salvation and sanctification, and uh, uh, you know how to divide the Word of God. Uh, so in the next video, let's move on, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll continue with this.